Welcome to another video and today I am going to discuss the difference between AWS DevOps and general DevOps or what we call as DevOps. We are aware that AWS is a cloud platform. They also have an AWS certification called as DevOps Associate DevOps Certification. And then we also have DevOps. Now, someone who is new to the world of IT or anyone who is not uh, aware of the DevOps culture might get confused, what path should I choose? What is it being a AWS DevOps engineer? And what is it being a general DevOps engineer? This is a very common confusion that people have in their mind that probably would lead you to choosing your own course or trying to understand some technologies that doesn't matter. But before I provide you which course you have to choose or which topics you have to learn, let us try to understand what is the difference between AWS DevOps engineer and general DevOps or DevOps practitioner. So let's try to understand the major difference. Now in this slide, I'm trying to explain you a DevOps tools that are being commonly used in the IT industry. In your left side, you can see the DevOps tools that is used by DevOps engineers. And on the right side, you can see the tools used by AWS DevOps engineers. So if we speak about DevOps, you can see that AWS is a part of DevOps. And with AWS, you are, you are expected to be aware of Linux, Python, Ansible, Terraform, Docker, and Kubernetes. And few of the other supporting technologies like Jenkins, Sonacube, Nexus, et cetera. But when we speak about being an AWS DevOps engineers, we speak about all of the AWS tools, EC2, AWS networking, IAM security, load balancer, S3, and others advanced services that I have mentioned on the screen. So this particular graph can give you a perspective of what is the major difference. The major difference being a DevOps engineer and being an AWS DevOps engineer is, in the DevOps world, you are going to learn different tools apart from AWS to accomplish uh, automation and configuration setup in place in a company. In the DevOps world, AWS is a tool like any other, other technologies that you're going to learn. Now, with respect to AWS DevOps engineer, you practice an excellence in using the AWS tools to do the work of DevOps engineer. For example, you can use CloudFormation in the place of Terraform. You can use uh, basically code deploy in the place of Jenkins. You can use S3 as your jar or um, repository artifactory, let's say. So AWS also has all the respective tools to work as a DevOps engineer. And if you choose to work on a project, which is 100% AWS, then you should aim towards becoming AWS DevOps engineer. In this case, you're going to engulf yourself into AWS world. All the automation is done using AWS. Now, if you want to go and learn other tools, then you can become a DevOps engineer. In this case, you are not specific to AWS. It is not AWS agnostic. You learn all different tools, which can vary across the horizon, and you try to master them. Now, with respect to job perspective in uh, in the IT industry, which one suits me well? I would suggest you always to look into this based on your experience and the place that you are staying and the job market currently in. We have opportunities in the, both the sector because some companies who are AWS agnostic, meaning completely dependent on AWS, they always go with all the respective AWS tools itself. In this case, they want to hire a particular talent who is aware of these tools and probably is certified as AWS DevOps engineer. At the same time, if you 
go to a startup or if you go to a some project that is not aws agnostic they might end up using all different tools that is mentioned in the left side and you probably would need to know i would like to mention one thing here that the learning curve is higher with respect to general devop tech stack because you have to master a lot of tools which are different completely uh, have a different setup etc wherein if you speak about aws tech stack everything is inside aws it is beautifully integrated in aws and it is easy to learn so that's the impression that you should get when someone says he is a aws devops engineer or when someone says he is just a devops engineer now this should give you a clear picture of what is a major difference being aws devops and devops engineer i hope this video helped if you have any questions feel free to uh, leave a comment and i'll try to answer them for you later okay thank you